phone out. Trucks a mess, who cares? What do we have today, guys? Helping out Jonas again on another rollover. All right. hey, what's, what's up, man? I'm gonna have to back up a little bit because I want my boom center right here so I can get it directly over the uh, back. But I also want it so my outrigger's clear. I wanted to land in between. Uh, actually, how far back can I back up to still do it safely? I'd be too far back. Just doing some mental calculations. I don't want it to hit Hulk. On this side though Josh come on it's settled then I'm gonna back up but to compensate for the tires I need on my outriggers I'm gonna get closer to the curb I just short jacket on this side I'll show you guys what I mean right now all right free spool as always drop the underlift that's about enough let's get my remote there you go. And my gloves. Walk out the cable. Oh, I park. Let me see. See if I did it as strategically as I had hoped. <clears throat> Put my shackles already on here. I don't leave my cables on free spool. But before I put my outriggers on, I'm gonna do something to, to test if my truck is in a good position. So I'll put my truck 90 degrees to the side and I wanna see if I'm perfectly 90 degrees over it. Oh yeah, this is a good angle. Very great. Now if all goes well, these front tires will land right here. In front of the outrigger. So let's get these bad boys out. Show you guys what this guy did right now. Look how heavy this is. Dang. Hello, Hector. I was just talking to my driver really quick. He did some damage. This sucker's heavy, with we don't have an approximate weight. So I'm assuming this thing's overloaded. Um, in a normal situation, I would prefer to get it from the front. But whatever i'm cool working it off the back i mean working the back off the side stun these babies out more than because of the weight uh, driver said 45,000 pounds. I'm going to need my outriggers extended, so I'm going to set up my outrigger pads. I got two sizes. These are the, uh, the one inch thick, and I got the two inch thick ones for the really heavy stuff. So when I do something off the side really heavy, I use the two inch thick ones on the lifting side. Now the cool thing about this is I can, in order to compensate for the 
it won't be level if I go straight down. This one will contact first. So what I can do is I hold this button and then this one and it tilts. It's got a five degree tilt. Five doesn't sound like much, but man, it makes a world of difference sometimes. I'll just touch down really quick. Put no real pressure. Should be good. And we'll do the other side. Alright, I got my foundation secure. Now let me go up so they can put the there we go. I still got everything on free spool. Now where should I go to? 40 degrees, let me check. Usually we know these by heart, but many feet out of my uh, right. I'm gonna go to 50 then. 50 degrees is my sweet spot on this cop on this job. Should be good because once I lift it, my catch is going to be right. That's about right. Let me tuck in a bit more and go up. But I'm barely pushing 45. With the assistance from these guys, oh wow, Jonas is already set up. Take off free spool, Give a put a little tension. tension on both lines now this is no good for one reason is my snatch block will touch the casualty so I'm gonna rotate out a little bit mm. right there's good let's go out with the cable like that. And then when I tighten up, never want the sucker to touch your truck, man, ever. Right there should be good. Right there should be really good. Was I tighten up? I stay away from there. You know what, just in case, let me put a piece of wood right there. All right, I put a piece of wood there just to protect the snatch block from riding into the container because I'm not at a good angle. Realistically, I would have been backed up more for a true 90 degree lift. But again, I want the outriggers to be in front of the tires. Either way, my truck can handle it. I'm ready. Uh, we have another, another uh, KW. Let me see. Oh. Yeah. I have another one. I got one. Okay, I did a walk around. I gave Jonas one of my pins for the front bumpers to uh, help put the catch on the tractor. Let me just close my door. I don't like open doors. On soon. You're ready, boy. Let me wait till these guys are finished. They're gonna catch up and then it's lift time. All right, I'm gonna try to work it from this way because of the sunglass. Are you ready? Yes, I am. On one, two, three. It's gonna be heavy for me, so. You know what, hold up. It'd be easier if I put wood in between the rear tires, 
I put it down. Yeah, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put wood. Well, now that I'm over here, I guess I'll do it from my angle. Come on, Hulk. Show them what you got. down and out and you're gonna have to be past 50 degrees on this one it's going to be a lot more extended Double check on this. All right, got the sucker right here instead. Good at protecting my snatch block. Now all I'll do. Wow. Hulk, you are strong. I'm almost fully extended at 40 degrees. I got the whole thing in the air. All right, time to go blue cable only. Sucker loaded. pick up on my white cable just to push it away from me there we go I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do a mid-air roll because I don't trust this sucker it's a move I don't do often Bring it over! Now I, I let them catch up, and as I hold it in the air and they flip it, I just let out on my white cable and up on my blue. Yep, perfect. Perfect, perfect. You ain't going nowhere, I'm not letting you slam. Now it's all catch. Let me get this wood out of the way. All catch, baby. All catch. All catch, baby. What did I say? Bada bing, bada boom. <clears throat> this sucker's leaning bad. If you guys watch my videos, this is the same account. Oh man. This is the same account where Jonas said that is uh that's always full of metal and scrap and they're always really really badly shifted. But it just sounds like it evened out right now. We got lucky. We're gonna have to counter lean counter lean this in midair solo. 
It sounds like it shifted by itself. That was a sweet throw. You see how I did it in the back to get it away from my truck? Yeah. I went out and I went up with this cable and out with that to let it slide. That was beautiful oh. work. Are you holding it? I'm holding it, Jonas. I got I got tension. Let me let out and see what it does. Oh, beautiful. I got no tension on it and it's straight. What are the odds? Remember the last one? Good. Hey guys, I'm going to keep my truck hooked to the rear just in case. It sounds like the load reshifted by itself, which is good. So it's straight now. Okay. Customers come in with their own tractor. So we'll tow out the junk one. Uh, I think That's that them? Just, I think he's here. I think he might have just been taking the wrong turn because we don't have this. Is that him in the white truck? I don't know. Don't Shoot, know. if it is, that's perfect, man, because we're, okay. we're ready. Uh, My guys are going to split the tractor from the container now and pull it out. That way the guy can get it. Okay. That's nothing for Hulk. I love my truck, man. It's no big flipper in terms of just brute power, whereas big flippers is 75 ton and mine's a 50. But with the right operator, man, you can do some serious damage. You just gotta know how to level your truck, get a solid foundation, and know how to play with your cables. Now I'm done, but I'm gonna put a little bit of tension on this just in case while they split the tractor from the container and have the, the tractor, the good tractor show up to take this away. That was a fast call. That was really, really fast from start to finish. I think I haven't even been here an hour. That included setting up. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna just stand by until the good tractor gets here. All right, customer tractor's here. Parked on standby, Jonas is gonna get the ladder out for me and I'm gonna climb up top to disconnect myself. So let's get rid of the tension. See, that's what you wanna see is you wanna have zero tension and the truck to be straight with these loads when they shift you can see the damage is they're all the load went on this side causing it to flip and we just got lucky by chance and it shifted itself coming back up usually you have to counter lean it yourself by toying with the cables and going in and out to rock it got it thank you jonas it's uh my light it's a oh, little oh, it's oh, called oh. a guardian angel okay it's like a little strobe light okay. i put it like on my back when it's uh on my shoulder when it's at night okay. so people don't kill me <laughs> but there's good that's a good height one more oh man these telescopic ladders are awesome super lightweight this last box is going to want to come towards the middle when i let go so i want it directly overhead i don't want it to swing and I could lose my balance. But there's good. Once again, these container links, man, are the best. I know Van Lingen did a test on these things and I don't have to double check, but they put these things to the ringer, man. A ton of tests, and they lasted. Weather's good out here.
I'll do yours next, Jonas. it up real good now I don't like this because as soon as I let go it's gonna want to swing you have enough height it's gonna clear the cab it's not gonna hit the cab okay well it's your call buddy Let me get my remote off and turn it off just so I don't accidentally hit it. Well, I mean, it's probably gonna be my shortest rollover video. It hasn't even been 57 minutes since I first showed up on scene instead of my assessment and then my truck set up, so. I got all the trucks put away. All that's left is for me to put Hulk and all my equipment away and we're done. So I'm gonna stop the video now. Hope you guys enjoyed.